Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am Beth at Spiral Path Healing Arts and happy solstice, happy Yule, Merry Christmas, happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate. Um, I hope you are enjoying this winter season. Um, I have taken, took a little bit of a break because I needed to travel up north to Michigan to be with my daughter for a week and I wanted to be fully present with her um, and um, just enjoy our time together as a family. I also had the opportunity at the beginning of my trip to spend uh, a couple of days with my other daughter and her boyfriend and my ex-husband in uh, at his place in Florida. Well, actually the kids came here first and then we went uh, to his place in Florida where I flew out of before going up north to be with our other daughter. So that's where I've been and what I've been doing. I did get to see a little bit of snow. Uh, the weekend I was there, we got about 10 inches or so and I got to shovel it and drive in it and enjoy, enjoy all of the uh, wonders of snow. And then I got out of there just in time because they're getting nailed with this big storm that so many um, people across the country are experiencing right now. And so I got home just in time. It also, I got home just in time for it to get very cold here in uh, Selma. Uh, I woke up this morning to 15 degree temperatures, but the little jobs that I did around the house before I left definitely have helped. The, the uh, windows, this curtain is not a breeze from the window or the ghost moving it. That is, there's a heat vent right below that window. So the heat is on and it is moving my curtains. But um, anyhow, that is what where I've been and what I've been doing and where I'm at right now. I'm back home in my lovely house and it's good to be here. And I'm really enjoying this holiday season, which for me, I may have alluded to or mentioned in the past, I'm not, I've never been a big Christmas person. Uh, for a variety of reasons and again this isn't a therapy session so I'm not going to get into my childhood traumas and things like that or just many years of disappointments and then stress and work and family things and just always go 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 and my inclination my natural inclination and nature's natural inclination uh, at this time of year is to go in and, and hunker down and hibernate and be still and be quiet and be safe and warm inside and that's what I always want to do and um, our culture and our society doesn't always uh, encourage that this time of year so I am just so pleased that all of my holiday travel my holiday gift giving and buying and exchanging which has gotten much smaller over the years anyway is in my past. It was done by solstice. It was done by the day I came home from up north. And now I can just enjoy the season here in my home, in my own quiet way. I'm spending um, a lot of time with my journal and my pen and uh, probably going to spend some time with my tarot cards, which I have not been doing much lately. That's a whole other conversation. Um, and just enjoying the quiet and cold. I know that sounds crazy. Uh, I do enjoy the cold as long as it's not too cold <laughs> and I have the ability to get warm, warm sweaters, wool socks, uh, space heaters and um, blankets and things like that. Even though it got down to, you know, the mid teens last night overnight and was very windy, I was warm and toasty in my bed with my down comforter my extra blankets. I didn't, I didn't notice how cold it was at all. And, um, that's to me for me, what the season is all about. I'd also like to, now that, um, there it's not, I don't have any expectations or demands on me. I I'd like to do some cooking and baking, uh, this weekend just for me. Maybe if I have some extra cookies, take them to a neighbor or something like that. Uh, that kind of thing. The other thing that I'm going to be doing, especially since I've already mentioned it, that's the back side of it, my journal. I, I want to spend a little bit more time working on, with my journal, 
and just really asking myself, what do you want your, what do I want my life to look like in the next year, the next five years, the next 10 years? And what kind of person do I want to be? What kind of people do I want in my life as friends, family, relationships? What kind of work do I want to do? And of financial goals do I have? Uh, what other, and then some practical things. Let's keep planning the next steps here at the house. What other things need to be done and in what order? And, um, you know, that again goes back to the money part of it. You know, where do my finances fall that I can afford to do? What can I afford to do? What do I need to do to earn some more money to afford to do the rest of it, etc. Just planning. And I've never really been one to spend a lot of time, partly because I've never, I've, I've rarely had the time this time of year to just sit with myself and ask those questions on a deeper level other than, you know, just the New Year's Eve resolutions. So I've never been one much for that. I'm a planner. I'm a list maker. I'm a thinker. I'm a dreamer. I'm a big dreamer. Uh, but to sit really specifically, to sit down and um, spend time and work it all out and write it all down. That's what I'm looking forward to doing this week. And I've already started a little bit this morning. I made a list of the lists that I want to make. So I am pretty good at making lists because I can make lists of lists. Uh, and anyway, I just wanted to share a little bit of my winter dreaming with you and my solstice joy. I'm going to share a little video snippet here of a of my simmer pot that I made this morning in my sunny warm kitchen and just a little bit of make magic making. I haven't done a lot of magic making, uh, intentional magic making in a while, uh, other than just little tidbits here and there, which are just as valid and is just as important uh, as the bigger rituals and bigger ceremonies. But I haven't, I've moved away from my circle of women that I would do that with in Chattanooga and I miss them and I just haven't made space. It's one of my things on my list of lists is to make space and time and intention for more ritual and more magic making in my life. So that is something I did today and I'm, I want to share with you and just a little take you through my day. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being with me this year. It has meant oh, the world to me, the small community that I have um, gathered together in the circle here on my YouTube channel. And I hope to continue to grow it and share it and share more with you in the coming year. And, um, but I just sincere gratitude and thank you to everyone who has watched my videos, who has subscribed to my channel, who has liked, who has shared, who has commented, uh, who has searched me out on social media and liked and followed me there as well. Uh, Instagram and Facebook are where you'll find me most of the time. And I just look forward to continuing to grow with you and for you. So happy Yule to everyone and stay warm and stay safe. Uh, we've got some scary weather going on around the country right now. So I hope everyone is staying healthy and happy and abundant this holiday season. So take care. Thank you so much. I haven't said this in a while. Peace out, witches. Well, good morning. It is a very cold morning here in Selma, the coldest morning we've had in, from what I understand, a very, very long time. And I decided it was a good time to make a bit of a simmer pot to fill my house with good scents and some humidity and holiday cheer. 
So I just gathered my ingredients and we're gonna put them in a crock pot so that I can plug them in. I don't really want it here in my live kitchen so much as I would like it in my living, main living space. Um, so that way I can plug the crock pot in out there. And so let's get started. I'm going to put some cinnamon sticks and I have cloves, maybe like a quarter cup, a handful, uh, and some star anise. And I have, I believe, I, this might, this is evergreen of some kind, either cedar or pine. I don't have any fresh nearby that I can go harvest, so we'll just put that in there. It might also be sweet grass. I think it's a mixture, to be honest. Um, and then I'm gonna cut up, oh, here's also some sprigs of fresh rosemary. I have it lemon. I'm gonna slice up here. I don't have any cranberries. I wish I did, but I don't. And an apple. apple doesn't have much of a star in the middle of it. Maybe it's not sliced well. No, it really doesn't. That's a bummer. Mm, it's, a little, it's a little past its prime here, so use it up. And I think I'm just going to do one of these little mandarins. I didn't have any big oranges. this one for breakfast. And then I'm going to add water. Let's see how much is in my head. A little bit more. quick stir with some intentions of holiday blessings, warmth and good cheer, abundance, safety, health, love and happiness. Oh, isn't that beautiful? You can see that. And I'm going to go put that in the base and get it heated up. Also, if you had a wood stove or a gas stove um, in your living space, you could set that on top in a pan and let it simmer all day. Just keep checking it, adding water if it gets low. Make sure you turn it off when you leave the house. My dishwasher's running my, my kitchen it's not very neat and organized right now, but very cold morning, 15 degrees outside, but the sun is coming through these kitchen windows. Yeah, that's on my list of things to do when the weather warms up is get up on a ladder and clean the outside of those windows. But even so, the sun in the winter comes in in the morning. It really warms up the space. I am gonna go plug this in and enjoy being in my warm, beautiful house. And when I say warm, it's only 60 degrees in here. It might be warmer back here, but the main part of the house, it's only 60 degrees, but I'm safe, I'm warm, and we're happy. I forgot that I wanted to add calendula flowers to my simmer pot. They don't really add scent, which is kind of the idea, but the intention and the magic of the, of the simmer pot. We're gonna add just a few calendula flowers because to me, calendula is sunshine and we're welcoming back the sun this solstice season. And so 
that seems appropriate. That's what magic is to me. Using what I have, setting the intention, and just thinking about what kind of energy that I want to manifest. And today I want to manifest warmth, health, happiness, abundance, and peace for the holiday season.